Uh, actually, uh, uh, Raju was in my board. Um, and Raju, I have known a each other for a long time. We have so many common things. We are from Nizamabad. Uh, we are from the same college and um, uh, he was a part of the board and we had the, sim uh, we had the same investors. So many, many similarities and we were wor working very closely uh, at Redbus. And after we exited Redbus, uh, even before that actually, um, uh, Raju wanted to do something for the community here. Uh, and even I had a similar passion. And uh, we kept talking and uh, uh, we happened to visit uh, uh, Deshpande Foundation in uh, Hubli. We were just amazed at uh, what was happening there. It, uh, I mean, for me, uh, it, is a, it is a place where uh, human beings get liberated. Uh, and especially it's very powerful um, in uh, tier 2 towns like Nizamabad, Hubli and etc. I can relate to it so much as a, as a person who's benefited out of that liberation. I, I wanted to see if it can, uh, if, we, if we somehow can enable it in our place uh, to the fellow youngsters in, in uh, Nizamabad. And that's how it started. Actually, it's a, a sandbox model is a very broad model. Uh, it's actually, a, a, literally a sandbox means a, a box in which uh, you know, there is sand. And with that sand, somebody can make a temple, uh, somebody can make a ship. Uh, somebody can just put it on one side and uh, 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 ma ma make a valley. Uh, so anybody can make anything on a sandbox. So the Kaktiya sandbox is also very similar. Uh, like for example, uh, we launched uh, Nirman here. Uh, Nirman is to uh, do career counseling and uh, uh, provide information about uh, various scholarships that are available uh, to uh, the rural youth. Uh, right, uh, that is something that we didn't even have in mind uh, when we were setting up sandbox uh, last year. So we just set up a sandbox and said anybody who wants to do something, anything uh, that they're passionate about for the community, they could just come here and do it. The various programs like Nirman, uh, some of them are very, very diverse uh, and discreet. We actually launched uh, Kaktiya Sandbox with um, uh, two programs, uh, Lead and Agatsya. Uh, Agatsya is a, uh, is a fantastic program. They're about uh, 12, 12 odd years old. Uh, and uh, they have mastered uh, uh, taking science equipment uh, to uh, uh, government schools. Uh, actually in private schools there are science labs and uh, students there get exposed to uh, uh, the science labs. Uh, so whatever they read in books they also get a feel uh, uh, of those things with the models that they have in the science labs. But unfortunately in government schools Though they have grants and some of the government schools uh, do have the science equipment, but uh, it seems uh, in some of the states, uh, if a science equipment uh, gets broken, uh, the teacher gets penalized. And because of that fear, uh, the teachers just pack all the science equipment in a room and then just lock it. We, and uh, those science equipment is not accessible to children. And in some other states, even, uh, even that uh, funding is not available. Uh, so what Agatsya has done is uh, take this science equipment uh, to children in government schools. We had a program called Thord for Jod in which a lot of uh, uh, machinery and equipment is given to children and they are asked to just break it open and reassemble it. That is such a fantastic, uh, again, liberation for uh, these children who have always been asked not to touch any of this equipment, right? Uh, and I was so moved uh, uh, by their curiosity and enthusiasm when they were opening it and then uh, they were explaining, they were realizing what all is there in an iron box, in a mixer and a grinder and etc. LEAD is a fantastic program. Uh, LEAD is, I think, uh, epitomo epitomizes uh, uh, the liberation part of uh, youth. Uh, so many times uh, uh, we see a problem. We don't want to live with that problem, but we don't know what to do about it. Uh, sometimes we, we think it's not possible to solve it. Sometimes we think that uh, there's government or somebody else to solve that problem, right? And that thinking or that inhibition inhibits uh, innovation, right? So uh, LEAD uh, liberates uh, youth in that. LEAD says, okay, if you see a problem and you, do, and you don't want to live with that problem, you want to solve it, you come to LEAD and we'd help you financially and uh, uh, even uh, uh, program planning wise as to how to go and solve that. And imagine once somebody solves that problem by themselves, their, their belief in themselves goes uh, quite high. We had a, a valedictory ceremony uh, for the first lead uh, batch uh, in Nizamabad and uh, some, some of them were uh, talking about their stories. Uh, they're such fantastic stories. 
uh, and I'm sure Nizambad has become a better place to live by the uh, programs that uh, these lead students have done. I hear that there are about 190 lead students uh, and uh, they did about 120 projects uh, in the last few months. Uh, that's a phenomenal uh, contribution to a better life in Nizamabad. So, Asha Deep is another fantastic uh, program. I'm so excited about uh, it uh, happening in uh, uh, Nizamabad. Uh, the first and the foremost is uh, that it's an entrepreneurial thing. Uh, Srikant Bulla is a fantastic, fantastic entrepreneur and a human being. Uh, just by looking at him, people can get inspired as to what he has achieved uh, in, spite of his, uh, in spite of being differently able. I mean, every time I meet him, I get so inspired and I feel that I could actually do much better uh, than what I am doing today. Uh, I think uh, uh, he'll be he'll be a great inspiration for students here. Uh, Asha Deep, uh, particularly happening in Nizambad, is a fantastic thing because it's a first entrepreneurial. It's a for-profit organization. It's a first entrepreneurial activity happening in uh, uh, Kaktiya Sandbox. By looking at uh, how he's doing, and he's been growing phenomenally. Uh, his business is been growing phenomenally. Uh, I think in the next few years, when his business uh, really quadruples or uh, multiplies by 10 times, uh, people who around him in uh, Kaktiya Sandbox will get uh, very motivated to start up on their own. And uh, going forward, I think uh, we can see many more entrepreneurs come out of Kaktiya Sandbox. Sandbox model uh, being what it is, uh, right, it enables many more people to come and innovate on, uh, on this platform. So I think by the next anniversary when we speak, there are going to be many more uh, these dots uh, when connected makes a much larger uh, meaning of what's happening here. That's a fantastic thing. Right now, the, these uh, five activities that we are doing, uh, Ashadeep, Lead, Agatsya, uh, Nirman, uh, all these are connecting to each other very nicely. And uh, Madhuri, one of the students in Lead, is now placed with uh, uh, Nirman. Things like that is uh, very heartening. So, the objective of Kaktiya Sandbox is to enable liberation of uh, uh, youth and human beings uh, in and around the society. We do that by giving them uh, both financial and uh, program planning expertise in doing what they wanted to do, in nurturing their innovation um, and also getting role models like today we had uh, Mr. Krishna Reddy, founder of Care Hospitals. He's such a role model uh, for many people. Uh, like when I was walking around, uh, people were uh, so, uh, so enthusiastic to have a glimpse of him, right? Uh, by getting such role models, uh, uh, I think people's belief in themselves uh, also goes up. So I think uh, this is a hub spot uh, for many of uh, these activities to happen. And uh, we can say that there is a social, cultural and innovative uh, innovation revolution uh, that's getting triggered from here. I, actually, one of the fantastic things that we have uh, for Kaktiya Sandbox is the support of Deshpande Foundation. Deshpande Foundation under the leadership of uh, Desh Deshpande, uh, Naveen and uh, uh, Neelam uh, has uh, over a decade experience in how to make this possible and how to sustain this. And uh, uh, Kaktiya Sandbox has a support of theirs, their expertise and their know-how. Uh, we have no fears of uh, sustainability. I think we will sustain, we will continue to prosper uh, in this community and in this region. <laughs>